Ready to do it? Day five, Busan? That makes it. Good morning, it's day five uh, here on the Seoul to Busan tour. And this is our second to last day. Tomorrow we're hoping to roll into Busan, but today we'll make it to the outskirts of Busan. Uh, we'll try to do 130 some kilometers today. And we're here and checking out of the Khan Hotel, which is, do you remember the name of this place? <laughs> We don't really know where we are because we left Bu uh, we left Daegu yesterday and we've come to this place where there's accommodation and there's just a bunch of little city centers and it's new development and business parks and industrial zones and we just don't know where we are. There was no place to eat here last night so we had to order out for fried chicken which ended up being a very good plan. How are you feeling this morning? Stiff, a little bit stiff though. Yeah, overall I seem to be, now later in the trip, five days on, I seem to be feeling a little bit better in the morning, but you know, all that could change in four hours. Bike touring is a lot of pain in the, in the butt and uh, for me in the back and the neck. It's a lot about the endurance uh, and the fatigue and, and just make it riding five, six hours a day or more. So tips for cycle touring, always start off slower than you think you can do. So if you think you got 100k or 60 miles in the first day, just maybe do half of that. It'll give your body a chance to uh, get going. I came into this in pretty good shape with uh, a lot of riding, but not really long rides, but frequent high intensity, shorter rides. And my body is just not used to being on a bike five hours a day so you know go go easy on the first couple days if you can afford it with your time that's gonna save a lot of pain so instead of trying to climb up this really steep gradient just thought we'd listen This temple turned out to be a detour and a really nice one. It was beautiful and peaceful and a really cool a bit of culture there. Now we're into more agriculture. Side. Oftentimes the trail's been going 
uh, onto little country roads like this, little village roads. Let's take a look at this bird. Oh. Another one of these bridge weirs. Passing through a lot of agriculture there. Looks like they're harvesting spring onions already, which is pretty good uh, because it's mid-April, getting into late April, so it's not bad. Well, you can see the landscape has opened up quite a bit here. Bigger mountains in the distance, but uh, we're right almost to our lunch stop. So we did about 30 miles so far, and we're definitely ready for lunch. We've been going through um, some villages and small towns because we went off off the main bicycle path and took kind of like a. Well, we're following a GPX route. Um, it's a little more direct than going on the river. The river climbed this uh, little hill and went around a big bend in the river and we're kind of cutting that off. <laughs> Waiting for a chicken soup to come. Uh, they've, this samyupsal came out that we ordered. It's part of a meal set. There. So our chicken noodle soup has come. It looks like a half chicken in there with some little ginseng root and. Uh, see what else is in there. This looks delicious. Probably the highlight of cycle during in South Korea is the food. Taking a little break here. This seems to be one of the most remote parts. There's a couple of villages over there on the hillside, but it's about a hundred more kilometers into Busan. Yeah, we're about 500 into it, 300 miles down. And uh, we're feeling pretty tired and fatigued. Uh, you know, my knees are starting to feel it now. And uh, we've been averaging about 100 kilometers a day, around 60 miles each day, and it's probably our limit. about 40 minutes uh, away from where we're going to stay tonight, which is outside Busan. And we're pretty tired, but we're going to make it right before sundown. This 
place is pretty sweet. So we just checked in, we're in the outskirts of Busan here and uh, look at this. So this is normally 65,000. But she gave it to me for 45,000 if I didn't use the bathtub. So I, I promised her I wouldn't use the bathtub, just the shower. The bed in it and, oh wow. Fridge, kettle, oh nice. Look at this, two computers. Unbelievable. Let's check out the bathroom. That toilet with the heated seat. So all our side dishes came. So we came to an eel restaurant and um, we're getting this package for two with um, I guess grilled eel and some uh, abalone and uh, soup and maybe something else. Uh, we got mushrooms. Maybe that's fish cake. Um, you got the garlic and the fermented bean, some lettuce. This looks like some uh, soybeans, a little cabbage salad. These are silkworms, corn salads, fried zucchini. Got some kind of greens here, onions, green onions maybe, and that's probably ginger. And this can be like a dipping sauce. So I'll wait till the main things come in. Okay. Are you okay? Let's go. Some piping hot soup out of the stone uh, stone bowl. Okay. Uh, so our eel arrived. Well, and uh, the abalone at the end there. So uh, I think it's raw fish. And that's gonna be mixed in to these shredded, shredded raw fish. Shredded raw fish, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Patrick is gonna have one of these silkworms for the first time, and I know I don't like it, but I'm I'm still gonna have one just to just to have one. So, uh, tell me your thoughts. Not, not your, not your thing. No. <laughs> so uh, yeah, my wife really likes these, but she grew up eating them as a as a street snack. <clears throat> yeah. No. I, yeah, I don't like it, but you you try it. I try it. Here come our hot coals for cooking, grilling the eel. here on the hill. So this is the first tasting of the eel. Dip it in this, uh, probably what's maybe soy vinegar. Yeah, good. Obviously, ex extremely fresh. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, wow. They just gave us two free extra abalone. <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah. Patrick approves. Approved, yeah. 
If you don't know, at Korean restaurants, any of the side dishes, they will bring extras for you if you finish them. Kind of like unlimited. Um, it's part of Korean customs to be generous and, you know, giving you what you need. So, uh, there's some more of the bean sprout soup. All right, so we asked what this yellow one is, and it's uh, it's corn, sweet corn. Made into what looks like, to me it looked like a fish cake, but... Um, so now the soup came, it uh, smells fishy and uh, denjang, fermented bean paste, probably. Yep, it's, it's good. Thank you.